Thank you.
Hi, this is Bruno again. Thank you for listening to the song and my review in this channel. This LP vinyl is Tchaikovsky, Piano Concerto No. 1 in B flat minor, OP No. 23, the second movement. Van Cliburn played the piano, and Kirill Kondrashin and his symphony orchestra performed. This vinyl was released on RCA Victor label in 1959, and the condition of the vinyl is good in spite of the long period of time. It was played with Nordmandy, Phono Super 59Z Vintage Tube Turntable made in West Germany in 1959 and still it is working beautifully. Today I want to talk about Van Kleiban and the Tchaikovsky competition. The story of Van Kleiban and the International Tchaikovsky Competition in 1958 is an extraordinary chapter in the history of classical music. I hope to explore the unique convergence of a young American pianist and Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky's legacy, also the geopolitical tensions of the Cold War, resulting in a cultural triumph that transcended political boundaries. Harvey Levin Van Kleiban Jr. was born in Shreve Port, Louisiana in 1934. He, ex he exhibited exceptional musical talent at a young age, nurtured by his supportive family and teachers. Clyburn's virtuosity and charismatic stage pre presence garnered him early recognition. By the late 1950s, he had established himself as a rising star in the American piano world. Tchaikovsky was a pivotal figure in Russian music and he composed symphonies, concertos, ballets, and operas known for their emotional depth, innovative orchestration, and nationalist, nationalistic character. The Tchaikovsky competition established in 1958 aimed to celebrate his legacy and identify exceptional pianists on the global stage. The 1958 Tchaikovsky competition was held in Moscow, the Soviet Union. The Cold War, a period of political and ideological conflict between the US and the USSR, was at its peak. The competition became an unexpected platform for cultural exchange with talented pianists from various countries vying for recognition. Clyburn's participation in the competition was a bold move. American classical music was not widely known in the Soviet Union, and the cultural exchange during the Cold War was limited. Despite these challenges, Clyburn's electrifying performance of Tchaikovsky's Piano Concerto No. 1 captivated the audience and jury. His technical brilliance, coupled with his passionate interpretation, resonated deeply with the listeners. Clyburn's performance defied expectations. He received a standing ovation, a rare occurrence in Soviet concert halls. The audience's enthusiastic response put pressure on the jury who ultimately awarded him the first prize, a decision that surprised many. Clyburn's victory transcended the competition itself. 
Clyburn's win was celebrated not only in the U.S., but also in the Soviet Union. He became an overnight sensation during extensively throughout the USSR and fostering a sense of cultural connection between the two nations. His success demonstrated the unifying power of music, offering a brief respite from the political tensions of the Cold War. Clyburn's victory at the Tchaikovsky's competition propelled him to international stardom. He remained a revered figure in the classical music world for decades, continuing to perform and inspire generations of pianists. History serves as a reminder of music's ability to bridge cultural div divides and foster understanding in times of political tension. The convergence of Van Cliven, Tchaikovsky's legacy, and the Cold War stage in 1958 resulted in a unique historical moment. Cliven's victory not only launched his career, but also offered a glimpse of cultural exchange amidst political disagreements. The story continues to inspire, reminding us of the power of music to connect hearts and minds across geographical and ideological boundaries. Thank you for listening to the song and my review once again, and I hope you had a pleasant time. See you next time. Bye.